go. Good afternoon. This is the first of two videos on how to find the mean, median, and mode with your graphical calculator. As I said in class, you should have a TI-83, 83 plus, or 84. If you have the TI-89 or anything uh, greater than the 84, the steps might be different, although the functionality, I'm sure, is in there. Now, what I'm going to do is pick problems from the book. I'm going to refer to the problems in the book, most of the, all the information I've written on the paper, but you can follow along in, with your book at the same time. First problem I'm going to do is problem number 17 on page 97. We're going to be finding the mean, median, and mode of this data set. Okay, I'm going to do it with the calculator. Unfortunately, the mode we got to do manually, so then I'm going to do that part manually over here. First thing we need to do is enter the data. Okay, to, I showed you this in class. To do that, hit your stat button. Make sure your edit menu is highlighted. Select one for edit. If you have information in there from class, I showed you how to clear it out by highlighting L1, hitting your clear button and arrowing down, and it should look something like this. This is already cleared out, so I'm just going to enter the data. I'm now going to enter this, the data on my paper, which is the same data from the table in the book. I showed you how to do this in class, so you should familiar, be familiar with it. I'm in the L1 column, and I just simply start typing in data. Okay. Once we got all the information typed in, you hit your stat button, arrow over to your calc menu, select one for VAR stats, hit enter. Now if you have the TI-84, you might have to hit it might a calculate button, it might vary a little bit, but ultimately you should have this screen. This has a lot of your descriptive statistics. X bar, which is your mean, is your first one. Mean is equal to X bar. In this case, I'm going to round to 78. 0.42. Sum of x, sigma of x is the sum of the x value. In this case, it's 941. Sum of x squares is, if, is the sum of, of each of the items squared. We use that in, manually if you had to use standard deviation, although, cal, although the calculator is going to give us standard deviation. S of x is the sample standard deviation. which if we only have a singular data set, we use that. And in this case, it's 53.85. Omega of x is the population standard deviation. Difference between the two, as I said in class, is s of x is the, the sum of xi minus x bar squared is divided by n minus 1, where the population standard deviation is divided by n, which is the sample size. So omega of x is 51.56. That's why it's slightly smaller. n equals 12 is the sample size. Whether it's a sample or a population, that basically totals the total number of items. If I arrow down, which we're going to use in quartiles, it gives us quartile information, which I'm going to talk about later on uh, in one of the later tutorials. To get out of here, you hit second quit. Actually, you hit clear. You can hit the clear button. It goes back to the main menu. Now, the only problem here, we have standard deviation, or we had the mean. Okay, I also could have found the median. Median would be court Q2. So if I still have the data in here, if I hit stat, arrow over to calc, hit one. Now you can don't have to do it twice, but you can do a if I arrow down median and Q2 is going to be the same. So that's mean, median, median is 77. We'll talk about Q1, Q3, min and max later on. Problem is there is no mode. So in order to find a mode, you gotta first order your data manually. Which I'm gonna do over here. We get two. Three. Next highest would be 47. Next highest is going to be a 57. Next highest is going to be a 62. Then a 68. Then an 86. Then a 97. Then a 98. 
then the 99, 118, and 204. Now notice nothing duplicates itself. So this is an example of a, a problem that has no mode. Or we say it's modeless because there's only one of each, each amount number. This concludes tutorial one.